Th see, listen, right there. You can't hear that on the CD. Only the vinyl, man. I'm glad we hung out after you struck out with my mom. You know, I could have used some help folding these fitted sheets. Who's this turd? Oh, this is Georgie. Brian, I never said you could have guests. Hey, don't touch that! Okay, red flags flying. Look, I need him out of here. You can't kick him out. He's my friend. And I live here, too. Not anymore. I want you out of my room. Well, it's not your room anymore. It's our room. Lois said so. And I'm not leaving. I can't believe I ever wanted you here in the first place. You're messy, you're loud, and thanks to you, we've got a recurring flea problem. Hey, Bry! You want to hang out? Go away, flea! You're not welcome here! And put on a shirt! You're 50! Actually, 54. Peter, I was plowing this college chick last night, and I saw this flyer on her mini-fridge. I thought we were all in this together. Well, yeah, that's the thing. A guy on cocaine told me I'm the talent. So what, you just dropping us? Yeah, how could you just ditch us? All right, you know what? You guys were riding my coattails. I carried you as long as I could, but Rob Kardashian's gonna be at this thing, so I gotta be at my best. Now get out of here, I gotta practice. Damn it, Peter, that's too loud! Turn it down! That isn't loud. This is. It's not loud until you can feel your head bones. If you can't hack it, take a hike. Why is he being such a jerk? I don't know. We've always had each other's backs. Like when we used to rob banks in lesser-known president's masks. All right. Remember to tell everyone who did this. Um, who are you guys supposed to be? Oh, come on. I'm James K. Polk. He's Millard Fillmore. He's William Henry Harrison. First president to die in office. You should have been FDR. Why? Because of the, you know. The wheelchair doesn't define me. And I'm Grover Cleveland. It's funny, because my name's Cleveland. Aw, oh, damn it, Cleveland. Now we gotta kill them all. This guy gets it first. Ugh, didn't you hear the alarm? Peter, wake up. We're gonna be late for church. Are you even listening to me? You've got to stop coming home so late if you can't get up in the morning and I... Oh, God, I can't hear Garfield. I've gone deaf. All right, now, how long has your husband smelled like this? Oh, no, that's just from riding here in a hot car. But, Dr. Hartman, what about his hearing? Hearing? This is a hospital. I'm not a lawyer. Oh, for God's sake, is my husband deaf? Well, there's only one way to find out definitively. Hey, stupid deaf guy! Well, I've gotten the results back. He's deaf. This is horrible. This must be because of all that loud, blaring music he's been playing in those nightclubs. What's going on? Can he fix it in time for me to DJ at the music festival? No. What? No. What? Are you sure? Yes. What? <laughs> Have a good life. Hey, guys, I don't know if you've heard, but I've gone deaf. You what? What? Oh, your ear crippled? I can't hear you, Joe. Here's a bag of alphabets. Please spell out what you're saying. Oh, there's no L's. By the way, I ate all the L's. They're delicious. They're my favorite ones. What are you talking about? They all taste the same. What? Why don't you just text it to him? You know, that's a good idea. What the hell do you want? You told us you were a big shot DJ and didn't want anything to do with us. I don't think he can hear it. Oh, son of a bitch. Look at your phone! Oh, what do I want? Um, the Electric Clam Festival's coming up, and I need your help. Now that I'm deaf, I can't do it without you guys. Forget it. You told us to go to hell. Well, now you can go to hell. Oh, great, thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Oh, we said no. What? 